and I feel like I went through it, you guys. Takers and givers, I've been caught the ladder, but am I really a giver? If I don't give to myself, don't take care of my health, care for everyone else, I usually give away my best, but get into this reset. Get into this reset. Get into this reset. Take a skill for something called the light. Get into this reset. Yeah. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today we are just gonna be chilling. I have my iced coffee here with me today. I'm just on the floor in the hallway and this is like the only clean spot in the house. So I was like, you know what? Perfect. Let's film here. We are going to be getting into a life update. Also a 2023 recap. 2023 was probably the hardest year in my adulthood by far. And you guys know 2021 was pretty hard for me too because I did lose my mom that year and that was really hard. But this year was a lot of different loss, a lot of different changes. So I just wanted to come on here and chat with you guys because I feel like I've learned so much. I went through a lot of things in 2023 and I just want to reflect. and also just kind of give you guys some updates too because in the next few months a lot is going to be changing moving and all of that we'll get into that later so stay tuned um but let's just go ahead and take it back to early 2023 so that you guys know was a lot a lot so 2023 i ended up losing a 10 year long marriage and it was by surprise, obviously, like in my head, like I just bought this house, like we hit 10 years. And then a few months later, um, I find out things and we just end up separating and it wasn't smooth at all. And I feel like I went through it, you guys. And just thinking back about it all, I'm not going to like rehash everything. We're not going into like any details. I just kind of want to like give my preference of how I healed from a heartbreak and I feel like with this heartbreak was a lot different than just oh I love this person I wanted to spend the rest of my life with this person I was so happy because that wasn't the case so I feel like with this heartbreak I ended up also just mourning a bunch of different things not just this relationship not just the marriage but also figuring out like wow like okay so who am I who is Elizabeth I ended up having to come out of my shell. I ended up having to realize who who am I? Like, what do I like to do? How am I gonna just be Liz? You know, because it was always Liz and Liz and, and I just didn't really know how to be me. And that is the most scariest thing, you guys. So thanks to Osea for sponsoring today's video. So with everything being so fast paced and spontaneous, especially this last week, Osea Collagen Dream Night Cream has been something I look forward to and helps me unwind at the end of my day. So my skin has been very dry lately. It's winter, so it's extremely dry right now and it needs moisture. And Osea's Collagen Dream Night Cream gives me rested, refreshed and radiant skin when I wake up. So one of my new year goals is to prioritize mental health, skin health. Last year, I struggled with skin problems that I wasn't used to, but with that came the love I found for skincare and how it makes me feel. Just some quiet time to myself. And with that, this night cream is clinically proven to reduce effects of stress on skin, 
It's so soft, supple, and fluffy, leaving me with refreshed, glowy skin when I wake up. Oh, and did I mention Osea is clean, vegan, cruelty-free, seaweed-based skin plus body care brand. So click that link down below or scan the QR code here on the screen and use my code ELIZABETHDREAM to get 10% off your dream collagen night cream. I feel like I truly lost myself in 2023. Like I just didn't know how to just be me without wanting to fulfill myself in other aspects like jumping into other relationships or whatever so i feel like the heartbreak itself of just like the relationship aspect was in too hard obviously it hurt but i feel like just like okay i'm not i don't we don't have like a traditional family anymore like we're not together so it was just like a huge change of having our kids go from two parents to just one at a time it was very difficult for me to like adjust to like obviously it's such a big thing and for them to adjust to and then also like realizing what I like and all that so so like the first few months after March it was very much me just trying to like be in survival mode I needed to learn how to communicate healthy with my kid's dad and it just it was a lot thankfully like it wasn't too bad but it took a lot of tears a lot of communicating just took a lot to figure out we're still learning. I'm still learning right now. So yeah, with all that being said, I probably didn't go about it the best way of like what I probably should have done to like adjust. I felt like I was kind of giving myself into like another thing to fulfill whatever was lacking to try to cope. We all cope so different. Like I know a lot of you guys are probably going to hella judge me in the comments. It's, I don't know. Like it's, People cope differently, you guys. Like, I look back and I'm not proud of the way I coped. And I also want to learn from this year. Like, instead of, like, trying to be fixated and, like, numbing my pain, I want, I should have, like, addressed it. And I should have just been okay with being by myself. And also, I don't know, I just felt so much emotions all at once. And I just needed something to not feel the pain. Yeah, so it was just definitely... A lot to learn and I feel like towards the end of this year I definitely like sat back and reflected I was like okay I was watching like a lot of like healing videos because right away like I didn't really I don't even know what how to feel like I just didn't know how to feel I didn't know how to cope so I wish I was just sat alone with my thoughts reflected on me and actually figure out myself because Towards the end of this year, I started looking up videos of how to heal, like how to actually heal. And those videos helped me so much because I really was faced with the problem of like, why are you so afraid of to lose somebody else? You should be afraid of losing yourself. And those words alone really stuck with me because I was like, you know what? This year, like... I feel like I really did lose myself. Like, I feel like I shouldn't be afraid to lose anybody. Obviously, my kids, I'm terrified to lose my kids. They don't count. But I shouldn't be afraid to lose anybody. I should be afraid to lose myself. So this year, 2024, I feel like I've slowly started already. But I do want to just be okay with me, my kids. I really just want to date myself, get to know myself, be okay with being by myself. I for sure, like 100%, definitely already have been okay with doing all that stuff myself. I feel like I'm such a free bird now. I can do literally everything myself. I don't rely on anybody. Um, mostly for the most part, I do want to, I've always, I always want to grow. I, I need to be better all the time, especially like this year. I want to like completely flip it. Like I just want to be like, so independent. I feel like I'm almost there, but not quite. So I know I could have handled things a lot better, but I'm only human and I feel like at least I learned, you know? Like I just want to come on here and be like, yes, I don't have everything figured out, but your girl is learning. I'm growing. I kept trying to like hold on to this house for so long because I worked so hard for it, but I need to come to the terms with it's okay of letting go. Like I feel like I was like putting so much onto myself that it just was so much on one person. I really felt that this year, you guys. Being a single mom of just like like all the housework, my responsibility, kids, 
half of the time my responsibility, bills, um, working, managing my time, all of that just became so much and I just really needed to like, I'm still learning to get used to all of that. So that being said, you guys, I definitely came to the conclusion that I am selling the house. So the reason being for that is because whenever the kids aren't with me, there's a lot of different reasons, but this is one of them. I'll sh share some of them. Whenever the kids aren't with me, it just feels so useless. I feel like I can never have everything organized. I can never like everything, which is life, right? You're a single mom and stuff, but I feel like it's just too much. Like I feel like if I had a smaller place and especially when the kids aren't with me, it wouldn't feel as scary, it wouldn't feel as overwhelming. And also we do live kind of far like in the little countryside of Utah. So I feel like I just want to live closer to the city, find something more affordable, of course. Like I feel like a lot of this was like just to keep this house, but I also want to like travel. I want to save for different things. I want to put the kids in like extra after, after school activities. So this just makes sense. Definitely going to find something cute and cozy for me and the kids. It's going to be totally fine. And I feel like I finally just came to well i've been thinking about this for many months now but just wanted to finish the year off with this house have christmas here and all that and with that being said new things are going to be happening and i'll be sharing all of that searching for places touring new places finding them moving all of that and then selling this house um yeah like last year i really focused on like personal growth personal fitness oh i also wanted to get into that too um wow like I don't think I've ever talked about this, but I'm sure some of you guys noticed. So like earlier on this year, when I was going through all that, I just completely stopped eating. But yeah, I suffered with an eating disorder. I didn't want to eat. I looked at the mirror and I was like, oh, I should be skinnier. It was not real. I would look at pictures. I'd be like, okay, I'll just like five more pounds or whatever. Like it got pretty bad. So towards the end of the year, I finally made it a thing where I like made sure I ate, went to the gym for all the good reasons to feel stronger. Takers and givers, I've been caught the ladder. Really a giver. If I don't give to myself, don't take care of my health. Care for everyone else. I usually give away my best. But get into this reset. Get into this reset. Get into this reset. So much like I'm like fine now. Like I would freak out if I had like a little bit of a roll on my stomach. I'm like, I literally don't care now. Like I like me looking a little healthy. I like my arms being a little bigger. I like my stomach being a little squishier. Thankfully, like I had help with healthy eating habits and making sure I eat and trying to become stronger. I'm just so happy I realized like just sick doesn't look good on me. Like it doesn't look good. Even though I, at the moment I was like, oh my gosh, I look so freaking amazing. I mean, everybody has their own body types. I did look amazing. I look amazing no matter what, you know, let's let's just get that straight. <laughs> I'm just joking guys, but for real, like, um, I'm gonna kind of like share like pictures of how I looked earlier on this year. I was so skinny and now I'm just like getting back on track to like being healthy. I kind of like mm, got a little too comfortable. I, oh my gosh, so much has happened within this last week, you guys. I wanted to film this video like the week before the new year, but I'm filming it, but I'm filming this January 3rd. So much has happened this week, a lot. So we got sick, stomach bug, um, my car got taken away. I'm not gonna get into too much detail about that, but it, it's fixed, it's fixed, you guys. Oh my gosh, I promise I paid payments. It wasn't that, it was something else, so. And then just a few days ago, um, we had to take Emma to the hospital and she was having really bad stomach pains. At uh, first, everybody had a stomach bug, so I thought she was just still having a stomach bug, but it just lasted too long. I gave her Pet Mabismo, nothing was working. Finally, took her to the emergency room, and it's her appendix. It's her appendix had to come out. She came out of surgery just yesterday. <laughs> Different colors. 
with this little thingy. I don't know what that is. And her seat. And a shell bag. Uh, yeah. You like the Hello Kitty? <laughs> I was with her all day today, came back home, and Eric's with her, he's off. I'm gonna go back in a few hours and be with her tonight. She's fine right now, you guys. She's just in some pain, a little discomfort. So much has happened. I can't even believe this is how we started our year, but this is how we started our year. My sister came, she left just earlier on this morning. All I could really focus on now is just getting Emma out of the hospital and getting back into our routine. That's pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Also, comment down below and let me know all of the videos you guys would like to see from me in 2024. Yeah, I'm ready to crush this year and make it way better. I feel like anything has to be better than last year. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. And until next time, 